And San Diego Film Festival going on downtown this week. And coming up, we're going to be talking to the filmmakers of one of the movies that's getting a lot of buzz this weekend. Stay tuned for The Kane Files. All right, and that's a look at your headlines. Now let's go back over to Alex for more on the San Diego Film <laughs> Festival, a great event happening this weekend. Hey, Alex. All right, thanks, Courtney. This weekend, the San Diego Film Festival is being hosted downtown, and one of the movies getting the most buzz is called The Kane Files. Take a look. Do you know who we're after? He's suspect in over 15 contracted hits. We've got him in the middle of a job. You think you've got him in the middle of a job? I'm a cop. I'm very trustworthy. You've got a choice to make. You can finish this job, and your kid will get the best care any kid could have. Or you could not finish the job, and your kid will die. We're big boys. We ought to be able to figure out how to get what we want. You realize it's going to end badly for you, right? All right, so the world premiere of The Kane Files is right here in San Diego tonight. Joining us now is one of the stars of The Kane Files you just saw in there, uh, William Atherton, and the director, Ben Gorley. Good morning to you both. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So, Ben, basically, what is the premise of this film? Uh, it's an action movie about a guy who's trying to keep his family together. Um, son takes ill, and he has to do some questionable things to uh, get some money. Yeah, and and what, what was the inspiration behind this? Where did this idea come from? Um, well, we just got done with a movie, and we were looking for something to do, and we thought a, an action movie would be fun. And so this, this, this one came to mind, I guess. And this is the first film festival for it for the, in the country, the mm -hmm. first time it's ever been seen. Mm -hmm. What was it about, about this that you've d d worked on so many different projects, including a Die Hard and Ghostbusters? What, what brought this for you? Well, a couple of things. First of all, um, the writing was great. And Ben had had another movie, Repo, uh, which was a terrific picture. And um, you just want to keep doing good stuff whenever you find it. And that's essentially why I did it. And uh, also, it was, uh, it was shot in Salt Lake. And there's something just kind of ethnically, deeply rooted about the whole story. And uh, it, it seemed genuine. And it seemed smart. And it seemed deep, and um, I was lucky to do it. And tell us about your character. I, huh. I played a lot of bad guys in my time, but um, this is one of those great smart bad guys. It's somebody who has a real agenda. It's somebody who has something a little off. There's no stopping him. And it's an oleo of all kinds of emotions. There's, there's rage, there's ambition, there's a kind of uh, desperate need to conquer. And it's a great kind of pole vaulting over the top opportunity, which I kind of did. <laughs> Is it more fun for you to get inside the mind of a bad guy? <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's, um, people ask me that sometimes. I, oftentimes, the bad guys are more interesting in terms of how they're written. The good guy usually has the responsibility of the arc of the movie in representing something very strong and very consistent. Mm -hmm. If you're a bad guy, you can waver. You can go off. You can riff. You can kind of, you know, get in there and, and life is just jello and you're, you know, you're all over the place. That's what I like about it. That's what I've always liked about it. So if you're interested in this idea of seeing the jello, tonight they can come out. Uh, how, how, does it, how does the San Diego Film Festival work for people that haven't been there? Because they can not only see your movie, but see a bunch of other films as well, right? Yeah, there's tons of films there. there I think they have 75 films. Um, you go online, San Diego Film Festival dot org, SDFF dot org. There you go. It is. And... Um, Look at what's just look at what you like and and not only can you go and, see the uh, films, a lot of days. times you can talk to people like you who are part of it, and and right. you can go to the parties afterwards, and which is the, the which is well, the, the best. Parties part. are really important, but <laughs> but also it's kind of a, well you can meet other people. You right. can you know if you like film and you want to be a part of it, and it's hard to meet people, and that's what festivals are most of the time. Ninety percent of it is like that. And one other thing, you um, played a news reporter and anchor in uh, in Die Hard. How am yes, I doing I modeled it? it on and you, and what's what's your you model it on me, of course. What, what's your your take on on this field when you when you see it? When I see it, what? What do you mean? Just you know, being, like being up and up close with it, and well, it's it, it's very um, media is very interesting because you want to appear to be seamless between yourself and the rest of the world, and you don't want to make a division, and that's hard. And uh, so that's one of the things I had to learn in order to play those things. Yeah. All right. Like do, you want, you do, do you want to take us out and read the last line? I'll take it. Oh. 
I don't have uh, smee eyes. Uh, For more information, go to San Diego. Six. Six dot com. And click on Hot Topics. That's perfect. Now, coming up, we have highlights from last night's game. Good. I want to see that. <laughs> and... What? Well, the Padres, oh, are, the Padres. Are, are closer to oh, the, right, It right. helps when they but spell it, things correctly. You know, it doesn't always happen. The D. Yeah, it's the, D, it's, this is the Ds. Okay. Plus, it's time to try out your own green thumb. Tiger's here to See, tell us why you're the pro how you tend to your garden for the fall. Thanks, guys, for being here. Good luck tonight. Uh,